this is Jason with ifeeltech.com. Today we will be installing a vast antivirus free security. This is an attempt to get a more up to date antivirus software per Microsoft's own recommendation as their own software Microsoft Security Essentials seems to be lagging behind a bit in security tests. To start off with, let's go to avast.com and click on free download and then download free antivirus. We will be redirected to download.cnet.com. This is normal. Go ahead and click the download now button. And once that download starts, just let that finish. When it's done downloading, you can click the downloads area of your uh, browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome, and all the downloaded files are along the bottom. Firefox, there is a button in the upper right hand corner that shows where the downloads are. Or you can go to your downloads folder in your computer. Alright, so that's done downloading. When you get to this screen, go ahead and click yes. And the express install should work just fine for our uses. This is just agreeing to the end user license agreement. Now it will take a little bit to create a system restore point, copy all the files, and get everything updated. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, we're all done with the installation portion of this. You will want to register at some point to continue using the free version, but it will prompt you over the course of uh, the, your usage of this program. You can purchase the premium protection, obviously you will have to pay for that one. The free version should be fine for most users though. Let's click next, and then finish. And let's go ahead and double click this icon here. Welcome to Avast. There we go. And by default, the virus definitions should have been updated for you already. But if you want to check that, go to your maintenance tab and you can click update engine and virus definitions. This should do this automatically for you, but it's a good idea every once in a while to check and make sure that that's updating. Let's go back to the home screen and it should run a virus scan when you first install this program by default. If for some reason it doesn't, just click scan and you'll want to do this if you find some suspicious activity on your computer. You want to run that virus scan right away. Make sure that everything is in good condition. The software updater gives you information on your browsers and other internet capable applications. I only have two installed on my computer right now. But you can see there is an update to Internet Explorer. And you can choose to update now. Scan has been completed. There we go. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I use Google Chrome as my main browser. You can use the browser cleanup to clean up any extensions or plugins that you don't need anymore. The summary view gives you a look at all your browsers and any items that might need your attention. I'm going to go ahead and leave AVG safeguard safeguard on here because it seems to be a um, false positive. You can look at each of your individual browsers 
and configure things to your liking. I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. Go back to the home screen. And you can choose to install a VPN. That's a bit out of the scope for this particular video. One more thing I do want to cover in the settings. If you're not keen on the sounds of being notified when a scan is completed or the updates are completed, you can turn those off, either all of them or any particular ones that you want. So there you have it. There is a vast free antivirus. Again, you'll want to register at some point. But other than that, that concludes this tutorial. If you have any other technology questions, please feel free to visit our website at ifeeltech.com. Thank you very much.